Hello, everyone. If you were to take a guess, how much time do you think you spend online? A few hours a week? 10? 15? Well, a new study shows it may be more than you think. The USC Annenberg Center for Digital Future has been monitoring internet usage for more than 15 years. Its latest report shows we spend nearly a full day a week online. Our usage has continually increased from 3.5 hours a week back in 2003 to a whopping 23.6 hours a week, showing just how important the internet has become for us. Some other interesting findings. Back in 2001, 85% of people got their news through print. That number has dramatically dropped. Now more than 50% get it solely online. As for relationships, 62% say the internet is key to maintaining social relationships offline. The study is based in the U.S., however, it's doubtful as Canadians are that far off the mark. Well, almost every phone has one. Fingerprint scanners are a common security feature either on the front or the back side of the device, but a new smartphone being unveiled this week is turning some heads with a fingerprint scanner that is invisible. Vivo has unveiled the world's first phone with an in-screen fingerprint scanner. This is the Vivo X20 Plus UD. The sensor is embedded right in the glass. You can't see it. When you want to unlock the phone, you just have to tap a target on the screen. Vivo is calling the technology Clear ID. The company did give a sneak peek at the tech at the Consumer Electronics show in Las Vegas earlier this month, but didn't show us the actual phone. Right now, it doesn't appear the phone will be coming to North America, but there's a good chance we'll see similar technology in other devices from some big companies later this year. Well, Microsoft has toyed with the idea of new ways for gamers to interact with their games. Connect for the Xbox 360 used a camera and sensors, allowing gamers to use their body as the controller. It had mixed results. Well, how about an Xbox smartwatch? Well, it almost came to be. You're looking at pictures of a prototype smartwatch leaked by a Twitter user in China. It has a 1.5-inch display with removable bands and some interesting features. We're talking heart rate monitoring, GPS location tracking, and even its own dedicated workout app. But the device never saw the light of day. It was cancelled, along with all of Microsoft's other smart bands. In fact, these leaked images are probably the first and last time we'll ever lay eyes on the so-called Xbox watch. No word on how the Twitter user got their hands on the device. We now have a launch date for Apple's smart speaker known as HomePod. The company announced it'll be available for pre-order this Friday and will hit store shelves February 9th. The high-end wireless speaker will allow users to control music, send messages, and control home appliances all through their voice. The speaker was initially set to launch late last year, but Apple pushed back the date. Unfortunately, HomePod will only be launching in the U.S., the U.K., and Australia initially. No date has been set for a Canadian release. And with that, your download's now complete.